As fitness professionals, there is something that we can all learn from Subway. Yes, the sandwich restaurants. What can they teach us? What can we learn from a fast food restaurant about the journey that we take our clients on? Because in the end, our clients, our members, they are not here to, to get a class, a personal training session. They're not even here to lose weight or to get stronger. They are here for an experience. And as I see it, there are two levels of experience that we can take our clients on. There is the macro experience, the macro client journey, which is your big picture, what is the process they go over over their years as, as part of your business. And then there is the micro experience. And that's what I wanna talk about today. What is the micro experience that we can take our clients on, whether they are personal training, personal coaching clients, whether they're physiotherapy clients, whether they are coming to a group class that you are running. And this is where the Subway model comes in. You walk into Subway and there's a very predictable journey that you go on. You choose your bread you choose your meat or filling, you choose what salads you want, you choose your cheese, you choose your sauces, you want salt and pepper, how many cookies do you want? There's a predictable journey that you can go through. Now, the end result is not necessarily a high quality product, but it is consistent, it is replicable, and people know what to expect. And that's why chains and franchises are so successful, because people know what to expect. But what if you could give something that people expect it's consistent but it is consistently good and that's the challenge that's what you should be trying to create to systemize that micro client journey that micro experience where people come into your facility they download your online program they do a video based personal training session and there's a consistent product consistently high so what i thought i'd do is talk you through what we do here at range of motion in terms of some of our st of our systems that relate to the micro client journey so basically, this is what happens when, when people walk in, they come in for their session. Uh, all of our clients at Range of Motion do personal coaching. Uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one type environment with their personal coach. So they come in and this, this chart here, this is the Range of Motion session flow. And this basically guides them through what they will be doing as part of that micro journey. This is our version of choosing the bread, choosing your filling, choosing your cheese, choosing your salads, choosing your sauce, choosing your cookies. This is our version of that. So they can come in and they know that there is a set process that guides them through what we do. Now, we can obviously go pretty deep into this, but let me keep it nice and simple. They start off with some pre-movement based stuff, which is dynamic movement. Then they go into pre-mobilization, activation, building to their working weights. They plan the session with their personal coach, and then they go and do their actual training session. So this step six, their training session, is only one of 10 parts of the experience of the micro client journey that we take our clients through. From that point, they then go straight in, into some recovery work, which is more dynamic based movements, similar to what we did at the start. And finally, they will move into a debrief with their personal coach, stabilization work, and post mobilization work. As we go, as the clients go through their session, they have this card which they take around with them. And this card corresponds to what you see here over my shoulder. What this allows them to do, we identify which movements are being completed in the session that they are doing for that day. Maybe they're doing six different positions. Maybe there's a hip hinge, maybe they're at the bottom of the squat, maybe there's a load overhead, maybe they're pulling some load in towards their body. And for each of those different positions, there are a number of key faults that we can identify. We can then further identify whether those faults are caused by a lack of stability or a lack of mobility. They then come to this chart, and on this chart, for each fault that we can see in all of these different movement archetypes, all of these different positions, there are a series of exercises that, that they should do to fix that. So again, this is a system that is completely automated that our clients are well drilled on. All of the exercises listed here, then you can see behind me, this is our chart, and that chart contains all of these different movement types with a description of how to do it and a QR code so they can just point their phone at it, it opens it up automatically in YouTube and they get a demo of that movement. So my question to you, what is your micro client experience? What is the micro journey that you are taking people on? From the moment that they set foot onto that rubber flooring to the moment that they step off that rubber flooring, is there a consistent product? Is there a consistent experience and is it consistently high? If not, think about how you can create this experience for people, how you can Build an amazing and impactful micro experience that will keep coming back and will continue to have purpose for your clients and for your business.